What is going on YouTube? It's Sanku and we're back with another one. Alright guys, so that kicks off a brand new week in these markets. I'm excited to regroup with you guys on this one to talk game plan as we continue through the week. So we're looking to put into place money making moves that will reap their rewards over the course of the year. Now, I've got many play ideas I'll be throwing out to you guys over the rest of the week that are just like landmines right now, ready and waiting to detonate. Now the growth market today started on the back foot, so there's no better opportunity for us to talk through a few plays that have opened up even cheaper price points. That being said, guys, get yourself ready for another jam-packed one. And before I get the show on the road, all I ask is that you guys go crazy on that like button for me. Now before I get the show on the road, I want you guys to know you can make money in these markets both on the way up and also on the way down using options if you're making the right moves. And options, they're not just exclusive to those in the US, so for my family in the UK and Europe, you guys can also crush it with the options. Now check this out, this is a put option play I threw out to my Discord tonight, strike in the 13s in anticipation of a drop in prices after they announce their earnings. Now check out the after hours action. This one's now trading in the 11s. So this one is printing money all the way down for those who jumped into the play. That being said, make sure you guys are hitting that top link in the description, tapping into our Discord, joining our phenomenal community of investors over there, getting all the resources that you guys need to set yourselves up for major success in the markets this year. So we're gonna kick things off with ticker symbol GRWG, that's grow generation. Now before we get going, I wanna remind you guys the stock price is not the business, the two can become wildly detached, and that's exactly what's going on here. Now I'm gonna do a check in on that stock price with you guys, because last time we spoke about the play, I said if they break through that key support at $35, they're ending up where? I said 30 to 31 dollars. Check the stock price now, standing 30.62. So if we see extended weakness in this one, the next stop is going to be the high 20s. That's the 28 dollar mark. So just want to set your expectations of what might unfold over the next couple of sessions. Now you guys need to look at it like this, all right? So how that stock price is moving during market hours, that's their performance on game day. But as investors, we should be way more focused on what our players are doing off the pitch in the training camp, i.e. how the business is performing. Now we know growth generation came out of a phenomenal quarter, beat analysts revenue targets with ease, that they missed earnings per share by one cent, just one cent, so we can't get caught up on that. They're still operating their business well in a strong position as we continue through the year. That being said, as great managers of your plays and your portfolios, you guys don't get rid of your star players just because of a few bad games, especially when you know what they're doing off the pitch, because that is gonna be reflected in game days later down the season, all right? That being said, grow generation right now, this stock price movement is just noise, it's temporary, it will pass. As I say to you guys, the best time to pick up these plays is when they're in the trenches. So those of you who are prepared to jump in, you're gonna be rewarded. Now I'm gonna speak to you guys about speed and a velocity of accumulation of stock. Now, I did a session with my Discord and compared this one to high tide. Now high tide was down for a whole month, so, what you guys need to do is just be mindful that this play might stay down on the low for a couple of weeks. That being said, most of you should be accumulating this one in the high tens of dollars or the very low hundreds. You guys shouldn't be going to, out to remortgage your houses to slap it down on grow generation right now. Okay, it's all about making strategic moves in these markets. Let's run the next play. The next play I've got for you, that's ticker symbol YETI. We've got a Yeti. I want to regroup for you on this one. This is the play I brought to your attention a couple of weeks back. Check out the performance on the week. This one is still in full consolidation mode, i.e. trading sideways. You already know, the best time to catch these hyper growth plays is when the market is overlooking them. Now, if you look at the year chart, this one consolidates for a couple of months, then moves up, then repeats. Now, they've just started to get into the groove of their next consolidation pattern, which I expect to continue over the next couple of weeks. That being said, we are looking for entry under $100, right? Catch this one under $100. That's the point where you guys start building and accumulating your position in this play. This is gonna be a beneficiary of reopening, so a solid play. You wanna get into the portfolio as we continue through the second half of the year. The next one I've got for that's ticker symbol RVLV, that's Revolve. Yet again, another play the market is overlooking right now. This one's on a big dip after they post up phenomenal numbers, beat revenue targets with ease, blew through earnings estimates, and they're gonna continue that velocity as we progress for the year. So I'm gonna make sure this one's one that stays on your radar. Now what we're seeing is some early signs of stability forming around this $60 mark. So I'm happy for you guys to accumulate your positions here. But as I say, if we do get a shake up in these markets over the next couple of weeks, you can see this one drop as low as $54 to $55. That being said, ensure you guys have got that additional firepower on the sidelines 
take full advantage if cheaper prices do emerge so you can snap up that opportunity but as i say going forward this is a phenomenal play a great reopening play as socials events pick up this is one that's just going to continue firing on all cylinders that being said i'm expecting two masterclass performances in their next two earnings reports this year and i'm expecting an all-time high for this one above that 75 74 dollar mark okay so tons of upside on that current stock price of $59. So those are the players I got for this one and the moves we're gonna be making with. Now I'm talking about moving in the right lanes. You know, this is something that I always say to you. This means that you're positioning yourselves in all the right areas to take advantage of all the opportunities in these markets. There's always gonna be a bull run somewhere and this is something I'm always ensuring that my team over at the Discord are in the know about week in, week out, right? So check this out. This is a couple of tech plays that we are in. As I told you guys before, the strategies of combat, these tech plays, whether it's the Microsoft, whether it's the Google, right? It's the dollar cost average into them. You wanna set your schedule, whether that's once every week, every two weeks, every month, that you're investing into these plays on a consistent basis. Now, a lot of these plays made a fresh 52 week and all time highs, right? Look at Apple standing 151. You already know, last time we were speaking about this play, it was back down in the 130s, the 120s. Now, every now and then, I'm gonna drop in and check in on these plays with you guys. You know, they're not ones that I give so much coverage on the channel, but the strategy remains the same, right? So we're hitting phenomenal returns with these plays just by using that strategy. I'm up 50% on Apple, a very similar amount on Google as well, just by dollar cost averaging into these plays over time. What you guys wanna realize is they post up phenomenal numbers and pave the way for higher stock prices over the rest of the year. But earnings day and are in and around, when they post up their earnings, the market overlooked these plays. The market is starting to reward them now. Now I was telling my Discord over the weekend is what's starting to happen is, plays are coming out, posting up good numbers, the market is overlooking it, but it's taking a couple of weeks time for the market to react, right? So we saw the financials plays come out with their numbers, the market played catch up last week, right? Now the tech plays, the market is playing catch up this week. So those plays that came out with great numbers last week and the week before, the market's gonna play catch up next week and the weeks after that. So if you've been rocking with the channel, you know what time it is. Loaded up on Grow Generation at $36, thinking it was a bargain, now I'm crying. Now I've given you guys all the intel you need to know in this drop on the grow generation play to hit success with it moving forward but i want you to know we're in this scare right? we're in these plays i'm down 20 percent on grow generation myself but because i keep it diversified moving different lanes i'm more than up that dollar amount in plays i've recently entered with you guys like a macy's like a Deneos, like a dks for example now this is an opportunity for you to invest in understanding the play now i'm happy to be down on grow generation because i know the potential of them moving forward right? i know that the market is just overlooking underappreciating the play and it's just something we see all the time in these markets and i'll say it's a golden opportunity to capitalize on and we always do high tide was a play that was recently well in the trenches you got to think it only took two sessions for that play to move up 15 20 percent that's exactly the same outcome that's going to happen with grow generation it's just a matter of time okay you need to realize also grow generation is one of our investment plays it's not a trade i throw out those short-term plays for you guys to have a bit of fun hit success over a couple of sessions but grow generation is one to be invested in over a couple of quarters at least to let the returns materialize right now this is just a hiccup a speed bump in their journey they will pick back up steam and get back on track and if you guys as i say are getting into the plate appropriately easing in while they're on the low you guys are going to make even more returns over time than you would if the play didn't have that major dip okay so it's a win-win situation for those who can just adopt that longer term mindset we call it that champion mindset all right, guys, so that wraps up for this one. If you have any questions for me, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. I'll say I appreciate you as always on your way out. Light up that comment section for me if you're new, join the movement, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.